Welcome back to Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. It's the Dolphins in possession of the football as we rejoin the action in quarter number two. Sanders on for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Makes the score Dolphins 14, Patriots 3. Demir Bird returning it. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. Demir Bird on the return. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They trail now 14 to 3, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Get set to take over. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breida. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. He's tackled at the 29. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is caught at the 20. For a, a big play there for the Dolphins. 51 yards. So a big pickup that time. And Charles, defending AFC Player of the Week, maybe bucking towards another award this week. Yeah, and they say they don't really care about the individual awards. You and I both know they do. it means a lot to them. It means respect around the league. And if he's able to show those kind of hands all game long, he can win a second one. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. To a give, this is Howard. And they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. It's a gain of seven. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Matt Breida, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins head on to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they had scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. Offense gets set to take over. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. That is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. This time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. 
Solid catch there for a man who's been so brilliant this year. Worth pointing out, as we were talking about earlier, there has never in the 60-year history of the award been a pass catcher, tight end or wide receiver, that has taken home the MVP trophy. And the best receivers I've talked with, they know that stat, and it drives them crazy because they understand that without a quarterback, they don't make the plays that they make. They also don't feel like they get enough credit for bailing out some of the throws the quarterbacks make. Absolutely. It takes two to tango. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Two and a throw again. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 37. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing. The route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. Oh, he's able to out-muscle him here as he pulls it in. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. I'm seeing a lot of hands on hips in that secondary, and I suspect a lot of mumbling under their breath as well because this defense has had no answer for the passing game here in the first half. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. In the end zone. Brings up second and goal. A bit of a surprise. They're going for it with two ticks remaining. No side of the field goal unit. Trying to punch it in with Howard. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Jordan Howard. As time expires in the first half. set to take over. They go with Howard to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The tackle yeah, game. things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the gun, it's Tua. He'll have a first down past the 40. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let it run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind. And this time, they get it to him the more conventional way and is much more successful as well. They go play action here on first down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll make it second and goal. 
It's nice second effort we just saw there. So I'm trying to get to the end zone, but a lot of times near the goal line, that second effort can lead to disaster. Make sure you hold on to the football because there's going to be guys swarming when you're carrying it. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. A gain of two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But and he's going to ball his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. Jordan Howard, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. He talked about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring. Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. He's going to fire one deep left. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. On third and ten, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ballgame. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Intended for his wideout. Incomplete. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and 10. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this throw will be intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. Intercepted by the Patriots. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Tua sets up to pass it. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Covered by Jason McCoy. Similar to a shooter in basketball, just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. 
And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And they have the foot. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. And wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. And now it's third down. He's going to let it fly. And this is, oh, my goodness. He pulled it in one-handed for a Miami Dolphin. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one, and they've certainly been on point throughout, and they hook up again for another big play. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. That's going to be caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First, that's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. They've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Now tongue of Iloa. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. A big loss. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Back to throw is Tua. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. On the handoff, this is Howard. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll be a gain of five, but they're still left with a long fourth and goal. He's tackled at the seven-yard line. A five-yard pickup brings up fourth down and goal. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. With two seconds left in regulation, this to force overtime. And his kick is indeed good. And the Dolphins have time. Well, maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, it actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. They'll start on the ground with Breda. 
And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They stay on the ground again. It's Breedham, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. On first down, they run with Howard. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Second and eight. All right, what can Tua do now with his drive in OT? Going left side here, and it's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 43. 12 yards there and a first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Howard again, the ball carrier. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage. And this will be caught. Touchdown. They need it over time to get it down and put this one in the win column. So for the Dolphins, they move ever closer to the perfect regular season as they run things to 14-0. And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for New England, they fall to 8-6 with the loss. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Buffalo Bills. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.